This is the intro to this video. Uh, my name is Russ, rwgresearch.com, and you can check it out. And today I'm going to be showing you how to cut a piece of glass in half um, with a hot wire, uh, like a circle. You'll see. Enjoy. Ah, what's up, everybody? So, uh, yeah, today I'm going to try something. My dad would like me to cut the bottom off this glass. So, I seen a guy one time take a hot wire and get just that portion of it hot and break it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So, huh, here's what I've got. I've got my Variac, my Monster Ack, connected to this little transformer. This is a 24 volt output, 120 volt input. I have no idea the rating or anything like that. March 03, it came out of a UPS. I've got a little bucket of water here. And basically what I'm gonna do is when I turn this on this wire gets hot as you'll see and there you can see my you can see my glowing hot wire okay I'll turn it off now what I've what I've got I got this turned up just enough to get me that rating otherwise it probably break the wire and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to heat just that edge that I want to break off by rotating it like this and then I'm just going to stick it in that water and because of the heat being applied into one spot and not evenly across this entire thing if I do it right I should be able to break the bottom off that so <laughs> no idea if this is going to work I've never actually done this before so we're about to find it find out there we go And actually, it should work even without. See, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. I got that brick down there, but originally I was going to set it against that, but that ain't working out. <laughs> Might be a little too hot. Ah, it broke. I heard it crack. Turn this hot wire off. Let's see where it broke. May have not gotten it hot enough. Yeah. I'm okay with my gloves. Oh, I see it cracked all the way along the bottom. It didn't quite get to this side. The one side may not have been hot enough. All right, check it out. Ta-da! So that's how you can do that. Now that didn't work as nice as I'd have liked. But, uh, it's okay. These are like a buck. This is actually a globe for a light. You know, a lantern. And it overheated, so... They gotta have the globe on there, but supposedly the bottom is being open is okay. I say I'm, I got one more of these. I'm gonna go get another one. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna get a little hotter this time. All right, so this one I got now is actually it's a little dirty. It's got some bugs in it. I actually just got that right off the front of my house. Um because it's the only other one I had, but it's the same. So I can just go buy another one. Well, my dad can. It's his adventure. Ha! All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it get a little bit hotter this time. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, ah, that one didn't break. And now I got it all wet. 
we will try it again. All right, I turned the heat up a little bit because I had turned it down a little bit. So let's try it again. Let's try that. Oh, I got it. There you go. Check it out. Clean cut. That's a that's a much cleaner cut. Now I've got a glass cutter. I'll just go back and round the edges off. Get that little chip right there. And hey, that's pretty good. So there you go. I hope you learned something. Um, again, if you don't think you have the right stuff to to do such a thing. Um, I don't know what type, type of wire this is, but stainless steel would be much better a choice. Um, as far as transformer, this is just a... I mean, that's that's pretty hot. I kind of smelt the rubber, so it definitely got hot. So you don't want to do it for very long, unless you have a big, big transformer. AC side's real cold. The output's not bad. Let's uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to check the voltage on here, just for curiosity purposes. So... I'm just going to cut the wire off and we'll turn it on here and see how many AC volts I'm applying. AC volts. 41 AC volts. Alright, so I'm using 5.59 volts. Alright. I'm not thinking through that one. That was AC current, not DC. Sorry. Uh, and just for your curiosity's sake, I will also give you a wire gauge. 0 .43, 0 .043 of an inch, uh, 1.12 millimeters, 0 .044. Alright, so there you go, that's all I got for you. Have a good day. I'll give you more updates on my projects. Peace.